here with Cameron Bahar, Huawei's VP and CTO of Enterprise Storage. He works out of San Francisco where he heads up Huawei's US R&D Storage Lab. Cameron, thanks so much for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. So Cameron, tell me a little bit about the core competence of Huawei storage solutions. And maybe you can tell me a little bit about the growth of that area of business for Huawei. Well, you know, we've been in the storage business at Huawei for about 10 years. And um, we actually had a joint venture with Huawei uh, with Symantec. And, um, you know, through that joint venture and over the last 10 years, I think we perfected, you know, disk management, disk error handling, volume management rate, and basic building blocks of storage systems. And, uh, and you know, we've had, a, I think, a pretty good growth rate over the last 10 years in, in, that, in that business. And um, I think we've had successes in the financial industry, in the telco and carrier space, which is a, a Huawei strength, um, you know, in, uh, in, in that segment of the market, uh, as well as manufacturing and, uh, and recently in internet uh, scale uh, companies, you know, large data centers, ISPs, that sort of so speaking of convergence, tell me about the five convergences of Ocean Store OS. Yeah, Ocean Store OS um, tries to bring together all the problems that we saw with managing disparate systems and, and, and data management as a whole. Um, the first convergence that we tackled was the convergence of, of block and file. We call that unified storage. So basically merging SAN and block storage with NAS in the same in the same frame and being able to add address blocks and files in the same frame and not have two different systems. Um, that allows you to you know get tremendous sort of efficiency and ease of use and simplicity, right? Um, the second convergence as I mentioned was this Ocean Store OS uh, is the same OS that runs on our low-end storage, the same OS runs on our mid-range, and the same OS runs on our high-end storage. So we have the same look and feel whether you buy low-end, mid-range, or high-end, or a combination. And because it's the same OS, we're able to do easily and transparently, uh, we're able to do simple and, uh, and efficient, transparent data migration and movement between these systems, right? So that's sort of the second areas of convergence. Um, the third area of convergence is, as you know, flash and NAND uh, media is, is, is you know, causing uh, lots of change in the storage industry and it gives you very large uh, number of IOPS. It's very good for high performance workloads for like databases. And so in incorporating flash storage into Ocean Store OS and doing, being able to converge hard drives and flash storage in the same frame is the third convergence area. So we're able to do all flash arrays, all legacy disk arrays, as well as a hybrid flash and disk array, right? So that convergence is built into the OS. Um, the fourth convergence, I think, which is interesting is, uh, is I call backup convergence. And, I, and this is fairly new. Um, and the idea here is that instead of buying backup software or buying backup media servers and having your whole infrastructure separately to move data from your storage to your backup tape archives. Uh, we're building uh, this backup uh, functionality directly into the storage array, so the storage array can take, you know, copy and write snapshots, immediate snapshots, figure out what's changed with your data set, and push that data directly to your archival target, whether it's tape or a, cl a cloud storage uh, that's on-site, off-site, hybrid, that, but integration of that backup into the, into the storage OS, you know, I think simplifies and makes IT flexible and converges the stack. And, um, and the fifth one is um, supporting heterogeneous systems. When we go into our customers, you know, in one customer in China, I think they had five or six different uh, legacy platforms. And so it's not a case of rip and replace, but it's a case of augmenting those systems and being able to, through plugins, being able to support and integrate those heterogeneous platforms and targets into the system so you can move data freely and leverage your existing investment and invest for the future. So these things, you know, all together are, are built into Storage OS and are the sort of five uh, core tenets of convergence that we're trying to bring to the picture. And what do you think the future holds for Ocean Store OS? Yeah, I think, you know, over the last 10 years we've seen uh, 
uh, the IT industry moved from you know a, a particular appliance to serviceification and, and service uh, driven infrastructure. So, you know, having open APIs and being able to deliver storage and compute and networking as a service is sort of the, 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 the target for us. And we're going towards cloudification of these platforms. So what we're doing is supporting private clouds, public clouds, and hybrid clouds, and the combination. And really trying to go towards the dream of a software-defined data center, where the control plane is nicely separated from the data plane, and you're able to virtualize, compute, network, and storage services, and ask for the services that you want, and the platform is going to basically provide you those services. So you can have a very flexible, simple IT infrastructure that's elastic, and you know whether you want private, all in-house for security, or public, or a combination, you know, building a platform that facilitates that need, I think is kind of the direction we're, we're headed towards. Cameron, thanks so much for talking with us today. All right, oh, my pleasure, thank you.